So you just moved into a new house. Yes. And out in, in the world famous Louisville. Louisville, Colorado. Louisville, Colorado. Yeah. And uh, and you're kind of excited about, you were just telling me, tell, me, tell us about your system. This yeah, so of, of course when I was uh, looking for houses, uh, the number one priority was the listening areas. Of course, yeah. And so I wanted two main systems. I want to have like a smaller two-channel si or a two-way system where I have monitors, uh, usually stand mounts or small floor standing, with a uh, with a subwoofer setup, and then uh, and then a larger room for large full-range speakers and even a larger subsystem. Um, so. I ended up finding a place that has a, um, a nice den area that's roughly like 13 by 16. And that's gonna be the, the two-way system with, with a nice um, rail setup. Okay, and what do you have for your main speakers? Are those? Uh, so the, those, uh, so the system, the two-way speakers right now are Harvest, yeah. Harvest 30.2 uh, 40th anniversaries. Yep. And then uh, uh, Chris and I are working on a new monitor for that room, which is going to be time aligned, a time-aligned um, uh, monitor using uh, uh, CSXL and uh, ScanSpeak Revelators. Um, so really nice drivers. Yep. We're just gonna, it's just something I'm doing. And I'm going to do the f first order thing, and I'm, I'm just experimenting, uh -huh. you know, just messing sure. around yeah. with stuff and see what I can, what I can do with it. Um, the um, the Harbeths are are extremely neutral and and you've had those for a while. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're kind of um, chameleons in the sense of whatever you put in front of them, that they'll tell you what's going on. And I've used that a lot. Um, you know, with uh, you know, along with the IRS system, I've also used the the thirty point twos as a a, a listening uh, as a device to to listen to what we're what we're building. So, um, so there's that room, and of course that room has a turntable. Uh, that turntable is a VPI TNT uh, Mark V uh, HR, which is the hot rod edition. It has a big flywheel, um, as well as the 20 pound super platter on that. So it's about 30 pounds of rotating mass on that turntable. Um, and then, uh, and then the the other room is a, a larger room. Um, the 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 shape is not as ideal, or the dimensions aren't as ideal. Uh, Eighteen by twenty-two, but it's large. And, and it's got the cathedral ceiling, right? Yes. So it has a uh, it has thirteen foot uh, uh, vaulted ceilings, and it opens up into the kitchen, which is I think what helps sure. everything. Yeah. If it was sealed, it's a little bit too much, you know, too close to a square. Uh, yeah, for my taste, standing waves up the wazoo. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But I think the opening to the kitchen really helps with sure, that. Sure. Um, but you got to have a lot more energy now. You got to yeah. pressurize that that place. So, um, so right now, as, as it stands, I have the uh, Dunlavy uh, SC four A um, in there. So this is a big room, and that's a big speaker. Yep. Uh, it's a timeline speaker with with first order crossovers. Um, a full BHK setup with the uh, with the direct stream, um, and then a Kuzma um, Stabby uh, Stabby R turntable with multiple four point tone arms on that. Uh, uh, a Lyra Etna Lambda and a uh, Ortofon A90 cartridge up there too. Um, so, what are you using for a phono stage? <laughs> I have the uh, I have the Stellar S S SPP. Nice, yes. nice, yeah. In, in both rooms. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Of course. Of course. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not biased. Not like I'm biased. No, or... you wouldn't be biased. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, but I needed I needed bass in the big room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I needed bass in the big and, room. And so. PS audio speakers aren't ready yet. So. The, Meantime, yep. this sounds awesome. And, and the Dunlavies don't do bass, you know. They're a massive speaker. They're 200 pounds. They're they're six over six feet tall. Yep. And they don't really sound like they have a lot of bottom. You, you know, need, because you need they're subs with them. Yeah, they're yeah. not ported. Right. They're they're sealed design with two tens. It's not full range. Yep. Um, and so uh, I'm actually receiving the order today. I'm I'm uh, building a massive uh, subsystem. A, a dream subwoofer system uh, that you working on yourself chris and i are working oh on. nice yeah nice. so so this is uh 
comprised of, of two four cubic foot sealed cabinets, um, which are gonna be on a couple hundred pounds of concrete each piece, um, with sorbethane isolators between the concrete. Um, uh, well, you'll see, you'll see why, why I need that. Um, so inside those cabinets are gonna be, uh, uh, each cabinet will have a, an 18 inch uh, evidence uh, uh, pro tour uh, woofer capable of 3,600 continuous watts. 97 dB at, at 50 hertz sensitivity, um, with uh, with 1,200 watts of power each each uh, each cabinet, and they're gonna be five feet away from me each one. <laughs> then it's gonna be uh, DSP um, because they wouldn't those woofers in a sealed cabinet would not have great frequency response. Sure, on the you're gonna roll off real, real very very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah, you're quickly. Need to EQ those with DSP. So we're gonna we're gonna EQ them and get those suckers uh, flat in the room. Yep. Um, using mini DSP um, and uh, the distance closer to me makes up for the latency mm -hmm. uh, that the DSP introduces. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'll say, you know, I've, I've recently heard uh, 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 some really great DSP subs. Uh, well, I have to say the truth. Uh, it, it sounds absolutely incredible when it's done right. Yep. There's, yeah. a, there's a neutrality in a room. Every recording starts sounding pr like, you know, proper and correct. Um, you, you, you know, you take away all those room modes and things get neutral. Yep, especially in the bass. And I, I, I love the idea of DSP on the bottom end, yep. which we will talk about more in our yes. next lunch meeting. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Darren. Yep, no problem.